Me and Jake Hager are not in the business of putting smiles on people's faces. This is gonna be ugly. This is a fight, this is violent. Next Wednesday on AEW Dynamite. I'm a prize fighter. I fight for my family. You know, people I actually care about. I'm not trying to be their hero. I fight for the zeros. I don't wanna be champion for love of sports. I wanna be champion because it pays more. I don't think people at home understand the kind of pain one must endure to vanquish a foe like Jake Hager. But they're gonna see it, empty arena. And in this scenario, I wouldn't have it any other way. Two of All Elite Wrestling's fiercest competitors will collide for the AEW World Championship as Jon Moxley defends his title for the first time in an empty arena, no holds barred match against the formidable Jake Hager. We are a house of winners, so if he doesn't come home a winner, then he doesn't come home, right? So that's kind of our motto. It's like you work hard, you play hard, and you come home a winner, you don't come home. I fight for my family. My wife has sacrificed more than anyone for me to have these opportunities, for me to just have the opportunity to step into a cage or an AEW ring for them. I think the thing that separates him from everybody else is his dedication to being the best. It burns inside of him every day. He wants to be number one. Facing the best that AEW had to offer, Moxley proved time and time again that he was a force to be reckoned with. The feeling of another man's skull being smashed and broken. I'm not ashamed to say, but I kind of like it. He defeated nearly every top contender that stood in his way and ultimately shocked Chris Jericho and his inner circle at Revolution. The winner of this match and new All Elite Wrestling World Champion, Jim Moxley! Shall we say the Moxley era has begun in AEW? Yet, waiting in the shadows is a skilled fighter. When I saw Moxley hold up that AEW championship, I knew it wasn't gonna last. I just didn't know it was gonna be me to stop him. Timing is everything in sports. Everybody knows that. And I think right now is Jake's time. He's kind of coming into his own as far as fighting and wrestling goes at the same time. I guarantee he's the best shape he's ever been in. He's the hardest he's ever trained in his life. Harder than he trained when he was in uh, All-American in college wrestling. Like, this is his time now. This is his time to be champion, not only for Bellator, but for AEW. None of this was supposed to happen. It was never announced, but I was scheduled to fight for Bellator May 9th. I've been in fight camp since the beginning of February. So now we're here, and I can promise you this. Fans will see John Moxley get hit harder than he has ever been before in his entire career. People need to really understand how much work this guy puts in. You know, a full time, there's nobody in the history of MMA and pro wrestling that did it at the same time. A lot of guys have been very successful and being able to go crossover, but Jake is the only guy that's really doing them both at the same time and being successful with it. And I think this is just a drop in the bucket of what we're gonna see. You know, when, once he wins the AEW championship, Bellator's next. It's no secret why I'm here in AEW. It's no secret why I'm in that inner circle. I am money. Who else in the world can do what I can do? No one. Still undefeated in MMA and AEW, Jake Hager is perhaps unlike anyone Moxley has faced to date. You know, a couple weeks ago, I hit Jake Hager with a DDT. The DDT I had perfected. A move that I have dropped just about everybody in this business with. Then three, four seconds later, I find myself in an ankle lock. And like a monster movie, this man has stood back up to his feet. That's a humbling moment. That's what I'm walking into. But it is no holds barred. And that changes the game just a little bit, doesn't it, Jake? I'm professional in two sports. I want to be AEW World Heavyweight Champion and Bellator Heavyweight Champion. Now, me and Jake Hager, we don't get paid by the hour. So this match might go three minutes, this match might go 30 minutes. Well, however long it lasts, from bell to bell, for the duration, it is going to be hell. I'm in there with an absolute animal. 
There's not a lot of people that are doing both sports at once. That is not easy. You can't just wake up one day and think like, oh, I'm gonna do MMA and I'm gonna do pro wrestling. So the fact that he's doing that and he's succeeding at both of them is extremely impressive and you can't deny it. Everybody around the world is gonna see and hear and feel every second of hell I have to go through to defend the AEW championship that I will defend with my very life.